<laughs> Did you just kiss a Mustang after having him for, for two days? I'm gonna speed through some of the footage right here because to be honest, it was just Colette having a hard time working with the Mustang. Here's what happened. Colette is excited. She has this new Mustang she wants to work with. She's kind of trying to figure out how to get this animal to connect with her. So I watched her do this for, I don't know, probably about an hour or so, and then I went to help her. Now, I have no experience working with horses, but I have experience working a lot with dogs and other animals. I have been working with pit bulls for years. Not nice, happy pit bulls, a lot of really rough animals. And so I kind of understand pressure without understanding pressure in the way that people talk about it nowadays. Pressure is a huge thing when dealing with pit bulls that have been abused because when you put pressure on them, the reaction can be violent. So, Mr. Pickles is not violent. He's a sweet horse. And so after watching Colette kind of try to get him to eat some, take some hay from her hand, I said, hey Colette, I got some ideas for what you can do. And so you're gonna watch about two hours of me and Colette kind of communicating and her communicating and learning to work with Mr. Pickles. I've trimmed down this time so that way you guys can kind of get an idea of what happened. You can see Colette's getting a little frustrated. And so anytime she starts getting frustrated when she's working with Mr. Pickles, I always tell her, hey, break down what you want to do into the smallest bits and pieces of what you really want to get after. And so you're going to see me kind of walk her through this. Now, there's going to be a lot of stuff in here. You're going to be like, well, that wasn't necessary. It's probably not. But I have my 11-year-old daughter in there with a Mustang. And this is something she really wants to do. And so because of that, I'm having her do things a little over the top in a couple of circumstances. You'll see, I tell her to turn her back on the horse or turn away from the horse. And part of it is I'm trying to get her to understand how to release some pressure because, well, she's an 11-year-old girl and it's really hard for an 11-year-old girl not just to want to stare into the eyes of a beautiful little Mustang. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for joining us on A Simple Life today. You know what? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to go put that, put that alfalfa right on top of. The, he like he doesn't mind the ball, right? Yeah, he kicked it earlier with his front feet and sniffed it. Okay. I want you to take that alfalfa and put it right on that ball, but let him see you do it, nice and calm, right on top of the ball. Now stand right there with your back to him. He's looking at it. No, no, no don't move. He's looking at it. It's like, dang it. I think she's put that there for me. It's like, dang it, she's so tricky. Those little 11 year old girls, what a pain in the butt they are. It's like torture. He wants it so bad. He's like, <laughs> he's like, oh. How do I get it without getting close to that little cute girl that's gonna teach me how to do all kinds of mean things? He's just standing back there. He's looking at it. He knows it's there. I can see him out of the corner of my eye. No. Make him come. He's gonna come. Don't do anything. Thanks. 
What's happening, Colette, is you're teaching him that you're showing him that you're not a threat. He really wants what's on that ball. Is he looking at it? He, oh, out of the corner of his eye he is. And he knows that that's the yummiest thing in here. And look, he's like, oh man, I guess I can go get some of this hay. But man, I really, I really wish there was some more of that grain or maybe some of that yummy alfalfa. Where's that yummy alfalfa? She's got it on that ball again. Uh, I hate, I hate that little girl. She's always trying to torture me. Brian probably would work better. Nope, days. nope. Look at that. Look at that, Clyde. Slow and steady. It's all about slow and steady, baby. It's the slowest race you ever want to win. You're building, you're building trust with him right now that you're going to have for the rest of the summer. Okay. Now, I want you to take a half side pass towards that ball. That's it. Just like that. The next time he goes for a bite, he knows it's there. It's going to be about three minutes from now. Yeah, and now, now he's going to have to come a little closer. Look how comfortable he is with you. His ears are kind of forward. He doesn't really have ears. Don't do a thing, just let him. F yep, that was perfect. It fell over the ball. Now he wants that other, well, he's not even backing up. He's reading you like a book, okay? So if he feels that you're coiled, ready to spring on him, he's, he's gonna take that as a threat. So you just wanna be calm. Nice deep breath through your nose. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. He's going to come back for it. He knows it's there. Look away. He knows what you have. You shouldn't be afraid of your motion, okay, or your hands. 
See, he's slow. It's all about the slow. Am I allowed to look at him? Don't, I wouldn't stare into his face. Can I look at his nose? Yeah. But don't stare into his eyes, because that's, that's aggressive. I think I was doing that earlier. That's the problem, is you're trying to like, you're like, I want to see your eyes, you're so beautiful. But instead, for him, that, that's like a predator stares at, at you, like they want to eat you. See, five minutes ago, he wouldn't even come near you. Well, maybe it was 15 minutes ago. Now he's having to yank alfalfa out of your hand. So the next time, I want you to hold it and stand up with it, okay? Right now? No. Well, you could, if you would like to. You could wait until he turns back around so you can see what you're doing, so he doesn't he doesn't think it's a, a threat. You can stand up if you'd like. Nice and calm. Uh, switch hands with the alfalfa. So you can rotate your shoulders towards me. There you go. See, now even if he wants to eat the alfalfa on the ground next to you... Yeah, I still have to go like touching. See, so you have to be really close to you. Yeah. Except for he's standing on his rope. It's like, dang it, now I have to walk closer. All right, pull it a little bit in towards your hip a little. Make your elbow touch your side. It's okay. He's getting desensitized. He is getting desensitized. I was very proud of him. He didn't care about the quads yesterday. Good. Bring it in a little close. Don't wiggle. Bring it in a little closer to your body. There you go. Make him come in closer for it. I want you to slowly switch hands so it's sitting right in front of your body. There you guys. Don't like face him hard. Look towards me a little. I don't want to get kicked. He's not worried about kicking you. I haven't seen him kick that all. He's not worried about kicking you. That's not what this is about. Right now he's just trying to figure out what's going on. And so his head is, you have to understand, the head is where the brain's at. The farther his brain is away from your body, the less he feels threatened by it. So right now he's going, okay, see how he's side passing you instead of head on? That changed when you faced him. Did you see that? Yeah, I just moved my foot in here. And he was like, is she gonna get me? That's the difference with how you rotate your body. Okay, don't, there's no reason to panic. I don't wanna get kicked. Why would he kick you? Because he's wild. He, he's not a lion. What, is he going to eat you when he's done kicking you? He's going to make me, he's going to turn me into a pickle. No, he wants your alfalfa. He just doesn't know what he wants to do about it. He's going to put me in the water trough and put some vinegar in with me. There you go. But talk, talking isn't going to hurt anything. You're not hurting him by talking. He's not going to kick you, okay? He has no reason to kick you, okay? Unless he just wants to kick. He's not, he's not spastic. When am I allowed to grab his leg, though? Don't grab it. You never grab it. Like, wow. Well, he just saw you do that, and he didn't freak out. So sad. Tonight, if 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 you're if you're if you're nice and calm about it, you could probably have him. You can probably have that off tonight if you just nice and calm, easy. Just keep breaking down the barrier between you and him because right now there's a barrier between you and it's called communication. Yeah. So what you're doing is you're building communication with him and right now you're saying, hey, listen, I'm not going to eat you if if if, if, if you don't eat me. If you don't eat me, and since he doesn't want to eat you, 
he's saying, well, okay, I guess she's not going to eat me. I want to eat a pickle, but not that type of pickle. Okay, so now I want you to listen. Can listen to what I'm... Stuff? Listen to what I want you to do. What do you want to do? Just take a small, half, not even half step. Yeah, you can step towards him. See that? That's all it took. Now, take, now, now finish that step off. Come, just take a little bit more of a step towards him. There you go. Just shift your weight. That's all you had to do. Now he's see see that see the change in his demeanor. Yeah. Okay. You you realize that a little tiny thing. That was a big thing for him. But you know what you know what tells me he doesn't care about you? Is he's itching his flea on the opposite side where he can't see you, and he didn't care. Not flea fly. No, he was biting his side. Oh. It's most likely a flea or an itch. But he did it with his back basically to you. He couldn't see you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to take that little bit, slowly adjust it in your hand. Use both hands and adjust it. Nice and slow. Yep, bunch it up like that. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Just like that, just like you have it. No, no, no. Now take it and hold it with your fingers and hand it to him. Like that. Perfect. So he's actually now... You've made an approach to him, and now he's going to have to come get it, even though he's gotten closer to you. So it's farther from your body, but it's closer to you. It's all the mind games. Dogs barking. I'm talking. Which he's used to. Some little girl trying to train him. Exactly. Norma Jean. But see, he knows that Norma Jean's not a predator. He's not going to kill you. He's not going to kill you. Why would he kick you? I don't know. Of course, he's not He's eating literally poo covered <laughs> hay. The good part is by stepping on that lead rope, he doesn't freak out when he gets pulled by his face. So it's desensitizing him to being pulled by his face. Can I grab more no. Make him come get that. I'm cool. It's all about the pain, baby all about the pain you're making him work he's he's feeling the pain now he's actually feeling the pain so much he's eating hay. that he's gonna go eat hay and he knows that you have the good stuff what we're gonna do is after he takes that bite from you you'll come out you can get your jacket get something warm to eat maybe okay and you can come back and do it all over again from sitting down whatever you want to do but Will you, you be here? no I like it when you're here because you're giving really good advice. There you go. Now walk slowly away. There you go. Come on. Come on. Just walk out. You're a beautiful, handsome horse. You're a teddy bear. I, I, I gotta say, his ears are so stinking cute. They're cute. Yeah. You nailed it with this one, Cletty. You can try to no no hold on just we'll give, give a little bit just just enough resistance to let him know that you have it okay all right hold on there you go there you go and once he takes that okay you're gonna turn a little away from him a little okay to relieve the pressure okay no you do not have to let go of the reliever okay there you go now what I want you to Rope. Come up along the fence line. Okay, get him to trust that you you there. Okay, come on, keep coming. Keep coming. It's not about the lead rope. It's not about the lead rope. I thought you want me to get the lead rope. Yeah, but it's not about the lead rope. It's about the trust. Can you, grab it? you don't want to grab it. The idea is, Clet, is you want him to be able to take food from you. Okay? And then he trusts that you're there. Okay? He, he thinks it's green. I know. The idea is to get him to trust you. The lead rope is the way that you're going to get it to lead him. Uh -huh. Okay? Not trust. Trust is not about a lead rope. Okay? No. You, you, him trusting you is just him trusting you. There you go. That's him trusting you. Okay? That's him trusting you. Now, okay... You can step up a little, which is going to get that lead rope a little bit farther away from him. Step up a little. There you go. Can I let him finish chewing so then? Yep. Okay, let him take that. 
and then just slowly reach down and grab that lead rope. And when I say grab, this isn't like a stealing. You're not stealing from him, okay? Now I want you to walk towards the corner of the gate with the lead rope, like you're leading him. You're gonna have to actually hold that lead rope, okay? Can I switch hands? Do whatever you need to do. Okay. Okay, whoa, just know that he's gonna he's gonna try to get it away from you. Okay. Don't let him pull it. Don't don't let him pull. There you go, there you go, there you go. I don't want it slipping off. Okay, it's not gonna slip off, Colette. Okay. <laughs> don't fight him too much, okay? But also don't give too much. There you go. That was a win, Colette. If you get him to take that from you, that's a huge win. That's a win. Yep, there you go. That was the proper response. Okay, now now back up a little. Down his back. Down his back. Down his back some more. Keep walking backwards. There you go. There you go. Now, now you can bend down and get that rope again. There you go. Okay, keep choking up on that rope. Keep choking up on that rope. What if he pulls again? Then you let go if you, but you're not trying to get a tug of war with him. You're just trying to show him that the pressure is not gonna hurt him. What? Okay. Now I want you to turn your back to him and I want you to walk towards me. Turn your back to him and walk towards me. Oh, I feel you towards him. Like you're leading him. I want, you, I want him to take a couple steps with you. Yep, exactly, just like that. Wait, I'm gonna let him finish chewing. That's fine. We're gonna offer the alfalfa plus the pole. And that's gonna be a bit of like, okay, I'm willing to give. If I'm willing to give. I'm not willing to give my lead rope. Okay. T turn towards him and offer the alfalfa a little and pull. A little bit of pulling. Okay, so he, so he knows that he has Polly. to. Kaleidi, there you go. He walked into you. There, good job. Okay, keep, keep, keep choking up on that rope. Keep choking up on the rope. Okay, make him walk into you. Make him walk into you. When you're fishing, you let the I fish out. I, I know, but you let the fish out on the line to wear him out. What you're doing right now, you're desensitizing him to you. Right there. Don't, don't let any, don't let anything go. There you go, he stepped in. Okay, now pull the alfalfa back just a wee bit. Okay, that was a little too far. Yeah. There you go, he's coming in more. Whoa, 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 whoa. there you go. Now, now I want you to keep inching your hand up that rope. Keep, keep inching your hand up the rope. What happens if I just drop the rope right now, go get alfalfa and let him eat this? Well, you can try that. When you walk back over, don't be bossy about it. Just go and do it, a matter of fact. Like it's just the same thing, like you're taking a poop in the toilet. There's nothing special about it. I mean, it's actually his first poop in the toilet. Well, that's a different story. That's your first poop in the toilet. Keep choking up on that bad boy. That's fine. There you go. That was a nice big choke up. That's fine. Now pull him in and make him feel a little pressure when he comes to get in. Get it, now let him out a little. So you're, you're giving pressure and then you're releasing pressure. When he comes in, let him, let him get a bite, okay? That's, that's the, oh, look, I got a snack, and then you release a little pressure. Can I try walking down him? You can try to walk him down him, but he may, he may not like that. There you go, so he's like, I'm not sure if I want you walking down my butt yet. Okay, I'm gonna walk him down here, so I'm not That's fine, him. that's fine. Walk him, walk him. Like you're walking a horse. Can I pull? Yeah, you can pull though. See if see if he'll let you walk. There you go. There you go. A little more. He's like, well, thank you for releasing the pressure. Yeah. Like, okay. All right. He's backing away from you, so you're facing him. There you go. Watch out! You almost took a finger. Yep. Exactly. I should grab more this time. Last time I didn't That's grab That's fine. One. And he's just standing there. Look. 
Exactly. He's ground trained. <laughs> he is ground trained. All right. And just walk up like you normally do, like you're going to feed him some alfalfa and just pick up his rope. Like it's nothing, like it's like taking a poo. Because training horses are like taking poos. Is Molly still here? Oh, yeah. This yeah. feels cool. Just r right up, right up. Whoa, why'd you, why'd you do that?
Whoa, whoa, what are we getting kisses? He's been, letting, he's been doing this. I know, I, I, I saw. You wanna give me more? He let me give him some kisses on his nose. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, he loves me. 